Hi friends. Um, I'm going to start by looking at a couple of Merton Simpson uh, paintings. He's not a very famous artist. He was a um, very interesting guy in that he was a jazz musician. He was a, a artist. He was a, a, an art dealer. He was also a good friend of mine and he passed recently. Um, but his work, um, I'm going to show you just really three artists, um, all African American, and I really am focusing on uh, race in the 60s because I think um, the 1960s in America reflected um, a lot of turmoil. As late as 1968, in 16 states, white and black people could not marry. And yet we had the Civil Rights Act in 1964. Uh, that was really supposedly going to afford everybody, um, you know, equality in this nation. The question remains today, do we have a nation that is uh, racially equal and just? And um, these are questions for you to think about in the comparison piece. Um, when you, not so much comparing these, but when you compare the culture uh, in the 1960s with today, and how you might interpret these works. Um, I'm going to ask that you might you might do a tiny bit of research into the 60s if it's not that um, strong a suit for you. Okay. One thing I would say is you have certainly assassinations of Martin Luther King um, and Malcolm X that were a very big deal. Um, had a lot of other uh, rioting that was going on that also um, spoke to some of the racial tensions in America. So this piece, uh, Confrontation, and here's um, here's another one of his, Confrontation. These were done in the mid-60s. I'm going to skip to Faith Ringgold's work. Um, I didn't write her name, but Faith Ringgold. All right. And she was doing a series called the American People Series. And this is 1963 on the left, 1966, for members only. And that's a really interesting um, title, right? When there are golf clubs um, that exclude people, um, this idea of belonging to a group, the membership that you might have um, based on the color of your skin, or your social status, or your wealth, um, any number of things for members only. Um, is it enough to be American? Neighbors. I'm just going to pan through these, because I'm going to post these for you on the assignment sheet. But I want you to be thinking about um, and you can pause this at any point and start thinking about the relationships that are in the picture. And um, if you could almost fill in the blanks with Faith's work here and thought bubbles of what might each member be thinking, uh, each participant in these paintings be thinking. You know, my own work um, moving forward is going to be dealing a lot with race race issues as well. And the idea of a cocktail party here where there seems to be only one person of color at all in the room. And that's an experience that most, most white people don't experience, um, that they're the only white person in a room. Some people have it, but usually not on a consistent basis. And that's just something to think about um, how one's experience could uh, be changed um, with that awareness. In the crowd, the in crowd. Hmm. Hi, little children. Um, this is something you can think about this piece. Um, um, my um, in-class students always tend to each year talk about this piece a lot. Um, and, you know, I don't want to draw any conclusions for you, but I think it might be very interesting 
for you to think about this piece. This one also draws a lot of reaction, right? The flag is bleeding. And I think it's a really interesting, um, you know, especially in um, context of that it was illegal for white and black to marry, people to marry in quite a few states um, at this time when this painting was made. U.S. Uh, postage commemorating, commemorating the advent of black power. So this idea that um, strength and um, in blackness and the black identity um, was a big part of the 60s in the civil rights movement. This is a less hopeful piece. It's a little bit of violent and sad. But I ask that you draw, you know, you really look at the whole piece. Everything is very interesting to see the kids on the floor in relationship to the rest of the adults. This piece, I won't say the name, I'm not comfortable um, using that language or, and, and when I write it on the, um, the HLC file sheet where you'll have access to this image, um, I'm going to amend the title. Um, so, um, but I wanted to include it because for a black woman in the 1960s to make this piece about with the American flag, and especially since we've looked at the Jasper Johns um, American flag and thinking about that in relationship to this, I think uh, is important. Um, this artist, Elizabeth Catlett, you know, here it's just an homage in a way to um, to black identity and to Malcolm X and um, Elizabeth Catlett was a sculptor and a printmaker and her parents were uh, um, were children of freed slaves. So, you know, in that sense, the, the sort of proximity to the injury of slavery um, was very much in the conversation um, during the 60s. And really, the question I'm going to leave you with today is to, to what degree do, does America have to acknowledge its past to move on um, with equality and justice for all? Um, or are we already there? Um, questions for you to think about based on your own experiences of our culture and how would these paintings read for you today? And then also thinking about how they must have been read back then. Okay, so that's going to be your work for the week a little bit. All right.